Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the company before me, you guys were great. Uh, some of you guys will actually be interested in what I am presenting before you today. My name is Tyon Bryant. I'm the CEO of a company called Roll Up Life. What is Roll Up Life? It's two companies. Roll Up is the company you see right here, which is the transportation and distribution aspect of it. And Life is the lifestyle brand that people my age come to enjoy. We like social media. We want to take pictures. We want to be all over. We want to show off. This is why the majority of cannabis users are my age, not yours. So, listen up. Here we go. And I'm from New Jersey. So, this is what we're calling the virgin land of cannabis. Um, we, in November 2020, we actually take the uh, recreational vote. So, the problem that I noticed in New Jersey um, since I've been starting this process is that we lack a reliable transportation for the industry from seed to sell anywhere in that uh, bracket, there's uh, missing or lacking source of transportation. And secondly, there's nowhere for people in the cannabis industry to just gather. Wouldn't it have been nice if we could have just all found this, this event on one website? It would have been nice, right? So, I bring it to you, Roll Up Life. Our key slogan is, when you need us, We'll roll up. Simple as that. Connecting anyone who joins CBD and THC together in one space. The Amazon aspect is the marketplace that will be there, where companies like um, who was the guy who uh, the genetics that was a real life product. I love that. He will have be able to have a store on our product, as well as a profile where he can interact directly with his customers and with other people he's trying to put his product in their stores. How are we going to do this? It would be tailored to serve the budding CBD <laughs> budding. <laughs> well, it would be tailored to serving the budding CBD and cannabis industry by being a specific industry transporter, providing reefer trucks, providing specifics with that these industries need, not just throwing it in the back of a truck. Secondly, we want to do warehousing and order fulfillment. The reason I want to do order fulfillment and same day services is because it would take that load off of the dispensaries as well as provide them more spacing to build their stores and their shelves. We can warehouse your product and we'll get it to your consumer. I want to develop a luxury brand because the New Jersey cannabis license, you have to, to be allowed to transportate, you have to take a cultivator's license as well. So I've decided to develop a, a luxury brand called Dower. The reason I call it Dower is because in New Jersey, the illicit market, that is the popular name of cannabis in New Jersey. It's called Dower. That's the street name for it. So why not, since this is my initial market, we can't sell outside of state lines. This is federally regulated. Why not market to who I'm selling to? So everyone wants to smoke Dower anyway, Dower the brand. Provide the social media platform for cannabis, the community to grow and thrive. Everyone grows together. And like I said, via the cultivator's license or the micro license, Patterns are allowed to transport to other cultivators and dispensaries. The New Jersey market size. These, are, these stats are directly from New Jersey Department of Health. So in 2017, we're only recreational right now. So like I said, in 2017, 29 million. In 2018, it jumped to 53 million. In 2022, let me come up here. To, Specifically, this is why it's one star, it's two star. One star is if we go legal in November, our market is expected to jump to 1.2 billion. If we don't go legal, I did it by 2022 because that's what the state uh, state regulated. It's expected to be at 127. That's the status quo, the absolute floor of it. And the market would jump to 300 million. So how I decided to do the market composition is since it's still only in this medical phase, we have to figure out who we're selling to. Of the five, the five key diseases of the New Jersey patients break down into people with muscular skeletal order diseases, people with anxiety, people with intractable skeletal spasticity, people with PTSD, and people with HD, uh, people with HIV. So how do we market to this? We build a dispensary family. We target dispensaries that are among the new licensee awardees, as well as the first and second classes of non-vertical dispensaries. There's only seven dispensaries in New Jersey, so the market is still small and ripe for the picking. 
And patience is a virtue, like I said, in 2020, the ballot will be, uh, this year in November, the ballot will be in. Our current business model is we just deliver to the consumer the uh, brown boxes, the current dispensary that we deliver for. They fulfill their own order. We come, we pick up the product, and we get it to the customer. We get 10% of the, uh, the total sale as well as our gas and tolls covered. Post-funding, we look to develop a complete cannabis cycle going from seed to sale and only providing a, a grow operation in one state, New Jersey, that will create a, a demand and less of a supply. Because like he said, it's a race to the bottom if everyone's trying to expand in so many states. When these states start going legal and legal and legal, the prices are going to start dropping and people will be stuck with these facilities in places that will probably not be doing too well. Um, so our options for the other states is where we will partner with the best growers in each state and offer them three different options. Wholesale to us, wholesale through us, or just simple delivery. And the complete cycle here. These are the packages we're electing to offer for our social media aspect. $50 a month to just come on our site, sell, user profile, 75 for user store, one free monthly ad, as well as near top in our shipping department. And the gold package would be a user store on our profile, an ad space on the home page, and one free weekly ad uh, uh, a week for the month. We're looking to obtain 13% of the total market share in New Jersey. We're back to what I said, the one star and the two star. One star represents if the market is completely uh, legal by 2022, Two stars represent if the market stays uh, recreational by 2022. Either way, the margins are great. New Jersey is looking forward, and me being black, honestly, is a great thing for you guys because 25% of the licenses in New Jersey have to go to a minority-owned business. These are the com my competitors, but they don't have to be competitors. Like I said, we're trying to aid the, the industry as transportation as well as sell everyone's product. So if we can dip into their market share as well as develop our own, we will be in great standing. And like I said, 25% of the New Jersey licenses have to go to minority-owned businesses, and none have been out yet. Um, you can go back to this one. Is this the timeline? So what we're looking to raise... Today, it's $3.6 million to get our facility up and running. Um, the primary focus is to get on the land, the construction of the facility, as well as the cultivation materials, and handling the legal, the legal fees, as well as marketing, and the, the refrigerator van fee. And I'm open for questions. Yes, ma'am. Where is your facility located in New Jersey? Where are you planning which found to? I'm looking to get into Central Jersey. That way we can service North and South. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what is the timeline on your bills? Like, what are you planning on doing first? Like, how do you want to save that? Okay, so right now we're working with CBD companies because you can do that anyway. Oh, sorry. I meant the, the construction of your facilities. Oh, like, all right. So the, the use of the funds. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking to apply and license the upcoming round this year. So I don't, I don't want to just jump the gun and rush to the facility okay. before we, like, so the step one will be, to, I have the uh, bank account and all that, securing all the funds, getting everything together, going through the license. I have one of the best lawyers in New Jersey, Michael McQueenie, um, getting the licensing process, and then getting the land so we can get at least just the distribution for half of the facility developed, started, so we can get the CBD products out there. And then once the license is granted, we can develop the uh, cannabis half of everything. Uh, first of all, you have an excellent uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. I appreciate that, sir. Um, I'm trying to just, and you may have said this, how much money do you need? 3.6 million. Okay, so if you need 3.6, it means 4 million. Okay, okay that's what we do. Okay, okay. yes, sir. Good. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, being from New Jersey, we know that the product's kind of light there. Right. Um, for the dispensaries at this time. Right. Are you working with any of the vertical grows, or are you aware of more vertical grows, period, <coughs> now can meet the demand even for the medicinal cannabis? All right, so 
I am aware of the vertical girls that are in there, and that's why I said, if you if you noticed in there, I said the the second the second and third classes non verticals because now in New Jersey we're just allowing people to be separate entities. The first seven are seed to sell, top to bottom. So now this new around, now you can just be a dispensary, you can just grow, you can just uh, be a manufacturer. So now they're split. So these are the people that are gonna need to be finding customers. And the people that are, are selling right now, they're robbing. They're starting, I had a slide in there, but I know my time was running out, but they're robbing people. They're trying to $500 an ounce. If we go in there and sell on the street prices, which is $250 an ounce on a basis, we're going to see our revenue sell, and since we're already selling at street prices, we're expecting the drop. We're at the drop already. You guys are too high. You, you're going to crash because you're you're, you're 500, and you're going to come, you're going to be forced to come down here. Since we're starting down here, all we're doing is heading up. One more question. Yes, sir. Are you talking about seed to actual point of service or point of sale? Are you thinking about any blockchain or anything in there? All right, so we're going to be business to business when it comes to growing, but we're going to be seed to service as well with the transportation, so going with the services, the to the consumers and our social media. I'm sorry, I, I wish you, you guys would have got to see that, but but there's a social media aspect of it. So every store has like a profile, like a Twitter page almost. So you you show off to your customers as well as sell to them right there. Yep. Yes, sir. Um, as much as New Jersey is a relatively small state, why can't most merchants just transport their own product? You said what? So why can't merchants Transport, transport their own product. All right, so need, like I said, right now, need, right now they're doing that because the seed to sell, you have to do everything on your own, but it's costly, and no one has the specific truck, so they're, they, they're renting U-Hauls and getting damaged materials, you know what I'm saying? So it's costly, and since I'm trying to build a bit of predicated on that, of course, we don't want to, if we can have our prices low, like low and manageable enough where it could take a transportation charge, we have to, we have to pay it for armed security. That's not in our budget. I'm not. I'm here to grow weed. I don't know anything about this transportation industry, so I, I gotta pay for security. I gotta pay for my guy, and then how I how it goes. Everyone can't touch it, so you gotta specifically drive the truck when you don't have the the touching license. Since we'll be cultivating, that's why I like the cultivation part. Has the transportation, and since we'll be cultivating, we have a, a touching license, so we can do the delivery for the, everyone.